Hey there, Hillsiders. Wanted to take a second and share something that came to me while I was walking this morning. It was 16 degrees when I was out there, and 16 degrees is very cold. And I was talking to God and walking and praying, and I was taken back to the, what would have been the second year of marriage. And so Joni and I lived in a rented duplex. Um, the people who owned the duplex actually lived right next door to my parents. And I can remember one Saturday waking up to the sound of a weed whacker, and not just one of those plug-in to the electricity weed whackers, but one of those gas-powered weed whackers. And it was going 150 million miles an hour right outside my window. <clears throat> was not expecting that, wasn't looking forward to that, especially Saturday was a day I could sleep past 6.30. So I kind of poked my head out there, and who did I see? I saw the landlord. And he's out there with the gas-powered weed whacker and his goggles and his big old earmuffs on, and just like that. And just taking the grass all the way down to where all you can see is the brown, the soil underneath. And I had worked for a lawn company in my teens. I did not think that was how things were supposed to go. So I went outside, and I kind of got his attention. I said, hey, Fred, uh, What's up with the grass? Why, why are you taking it out? Like, I didn't know you're supposed to do that. And he said, well, it's not growing the way I would want it to grow. And so I decided to just kind of take it down to the roots, take it down to the to just like the base level and uh, give it a chance to reboot and to, to come back stronger. And I, when I saw and I heard his explanation, I'm thinking, whatever, Fred, that's not, I, that makes no sense to me. But I got to tell you, we got around to summer and the fall, that grass had rebounded and where it had been patchy and, and kind of bare before, it was really flourishing. And I had to really give it to this guy who I, I thought he was just nuts and well, it's his house, he can do whatever he wants to the lawn. Didn't see any life coming out of it, but it really spoke to me. And I was thinking, Lord, why did that memory come to me on this walk today? And he said, uh, it's kind of along the lines, there's a, a scripture in Isaiah chapter 6 and a couple others from my recent Bible reading where basically it talks about how God can bring life out of things that look like they're dead. And sometimes they need to be stripped down to the very root or stripped down to the very stump of the tree in order to establish new life and to bring about the kind of life he wants to see happen in and through and around that which he is reducing to its foundation. And uh, I occasionally watch... Uh, do-it-yourself TV, occasionally watch, um, you know, HGTV with my wife because she likes that channel. And we, we, talk, we watch the shows about makeovers of houses. And it's not uncommon for the, for the contractor to go into a situation where there's a house and it looks like a mess. It's, maybe it's incredibly dated or it's just in bad shape. And they go in and they knock down the walls or they take down all the sheetrock and take it down just to bare bones. And then they go in with their experts and the contractors and everybody who does the work and they do their work. And when you see the finished product, you would have never believed something so beautiful could come out of something that had looked so ugly and so worthless. And as I'm walking this morning, I just had the sense that in all that we're experiencing right now, it, God is wanting to take us down in some areas of our lives to the very bare bones, the very roots of who we are, so that he can build and plant and help us to grow to be becoming the people he's wanting us to be. And it's not that he's trying to just get rid of us and st start over because there's nothing good, but he's really wanting to work in us so that the harvest that he's intending will come about in our life and that the work he wants to see happen in us with the lasting fruit. And uh, maybe there's, you know, our lives resemble that first lawn that I had at, at Fred's house where it was, there's a little bit of grass, but it's more patchy. And by him taking it down to the bare roots, he was able to cause it to grow back in fruitfulness and beautiful lush looking green, almost like a putting green. It was just amazing brand new grass. Through this process, God is going to be building new things into us. So don't look at the bare spots of life. Don't look at the areas where it's like, man, what good can come from this? Know that sometimes God takes us down to the very bare bones so that he can rebuild and so he can bring new life. And I really believe that's one of the things he's doing. And I'm holding on to that. And I'm standing on that promise for myself, for my family, and for our, us as a Hillside family. God bless you. Stay faithful. Stay strong. Stay positive. Stay flexible. Stay resilient. And you can trust that God is going to bring something beautiful out of the bare bones of what is our lives often seem like they're reduced to. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day.